Okay, so this is my new Axial Flux Mag switch for the 3D printer tool changer. So I've reduced the whole thickness of this tool plate and the carriage plate down to 19 millimeters. And I've also reduced the sideways travel required to unlock the tool to just 10 or 12 millimeters, depending on, on how much, how free you want it to become. So it unlocks about there. And there's the mechanism. It's a little rack and pinion. And the rack is held in place by the MGN block, so it can't jump out the back. And then there's a single 61805 bearing there. The magnets is 10 by 5 millimeter N40. And yeah, the by using the dome nuts for the coupling, it has the advantage that, okay, before you mount it onto the printer, you can put the, the hex driver through the, through the kinematic coupling and you can adjust the spacing so that you can make sure to get that little bit of clearance there between the magnets in the middle, which is what holds the whole thing together. So just even with four magnets reduced down from six on the previous version, this thing is very difficult to separate. It actually hurts, hurts the fingers to, to separate it like that. Yeah, so my thinking now is to use the same dock mechanism that the guys developed for the Lineux 1 tool changer. So I like that idea they have with a spring-loaded pin. So when it comes into dock, it pushes against the pin, and then when it picks up the tool, it can depress the spring-loaded pin into the into the dock. So only thing left, I think, it maybe needs a little spring inside there, just to return it to that position, so that this tab can push the pin on the dock. And yeah. This tool plate can be compatible with uh, the Linux One tools.